This is a story about two young dolphins stranded and rescued on the beach in Mississippi one year ago. And it's a story with a happy ending. Welcome back to the Four O'Clock Show. I'm Dave Elliott here at the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies. And we're about to catch up with the dolphins and find out how far they've come on the road to recovery. With Allison and I, you've been taking care <laughs> of the dolphins. What are their names? Uh, Jasper and Adam. Yeah. And what were the dolphins, the condition of the dolphins when you first brought them here a year ago? Uh, both of them were very young. They were both about a year old. Um, we had to tube feed them, hand feed them fish, so we kind of had to get them used to being around people, used to eating fish, because they were very young at the time. They still would have been nursing from their moms. Um, so they needed a lot of nurturing, a lot of bringing up to get them to where they are today, where they're doing very well. Uh, they both are getting good, full, healthy diets of fish. Um, they're doing great now. Yeah. And I, what have you enjoyed about this experience? I imagine you get pretty attached to the dolphins. Oh, definitely. It's all about trust and relationship. Whenever we work them, with them, we want to make sure that everything we do is voluntary and we always make sure that they are growing well, doing really, really healthy. We also make sure that we do a lot of husbandry behaviors that also will help later on when we, um, maintaining their health so that we do um, veterinary exams and procedures to make sure that they are constantly doing well. And we've caught up with Stranding Coordinator Teresa Madrigal to talk more about this great story of the two dolphins. Teresa, what is the goal when you rescue stranded dolphins to then get them rehabilitated? Um, so it's a very long process. When we first got these animals in, they were very sick. Um, they were on the beach alone. Their mothers were nowhere to be found. Um, so they weren't able to hold themselves up in the water. So our stranding staff and the staff that was helping and volunteers, they were in the water 24 hours a day for a couple months, holding these animals up to keep them so that they could breathe um, at the surface of the water. And how far have they come? Um, it's amazing to see how far they've come, especially both of them coming in so sick, um, not knowing exactly why they stranded, um, to seeing them now here, learning behaviors with their trainers, um, and seeing them have a fulfilling and happy life here at IMMS. And ultimately, what will happen with the two dolphins? What is the goal? Um, so both these guys are non-releasable, so since they were so young when they stranded, they didn't learn how to survive and be dolphins out in the wild, so they both are um, determined to be non-releasable, so they are here with us for their forever home. So while they're here, we make sure we cover lots of different bases while they're living with us. We make sure we enrich them as well, so we give them lots of fun toys, things like that. Jasper, for sure, really loves to play with toys um, all throughout the day. And I, I, dolphins to me are always just so amazing, the way they're so social and they seem so intelligent. Uh, what do you find them? impressive about dolphins? They learn very, very fast. They're extremely intelligent animals. Um, Jasper um, has learned things extremely quickly. Um, Adam also is very, very intelligent and knows the right thing from the wrong thing. And they are both very, very smart animals. And it's very amazing to see them grow and learn with us as well.